In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my craft room. Hey there, this is Sarah with The Notorious Needle and I'm all about empowering you to break the rules so you can stitch whatever you want. Let's start with floss. I store my floss in these floss containers. Uh, this one I got at Michael's, which is a chain craft store in the United States. And I keep my floss on plastic bobbins like this one with the little number stickers uh, by DMC. Everything I'm showing you, I'll put a link below for if it's still available. So these things are a little bit old. <laughs> these floss organizers, plastic bobbins, and number stickers are still available. There's a couple of different ways you could use to store your floss. You can use boxes and bobbins like I do. Uh, DMC came out with something called Stitch Bow. Basically, it's this long plastic thing that you can take the skein right out of the labels and place right on the stitch bow. And then you take you take the label and you attach that to the stitch bow. And then you can put the stitch bow in um, in a binder or. Uh, a, a different kind of organizer. They have a couple of they have a couple available at DMC. I don't really like those. I find it harder to get the floss off the stitch bow than it is to just get it off these little bobbins when I'm ready to use it. I like these because they're smaller. Let's move on to fabric. So I picked up this beautiful tote bag also at Michael's and, and it matches the Notorious Needle logo colors. So I instantly fell in love. And inside here is where I keep the fabric that I use most frequently. I also have a clipboard with some old patterns on it from Halloween. It came with this mini bag um, with a zipper cover. And inside this bag I have several finishes. Let's see if I can open it one-handed. Uh, that I'm not sure <laughs> what I'm gonna do with yet. I haven't decided. You may recognize this one from the Hearts and Dicks collection. <laughs> uh, but anywho, inside this tote bag, I have, let's see, a huge, I have a huge tube of 14 count off-white eight o'clock. A tube of white to 18 count eight o'clock. Some leftover 14 count white eight o'clock. This is a little bit too small for most of what I do. Uh, so I'll probably make this into bookmarks or some other small gifts. And then this giant piece of 14 count white eight o'clock. The reason why I have so much eight o'clock in here is because I prefer to test stitch on eight o'clock. Uh, I believe that that's what people expect. So that's what I test stitch my patterns on. Also in here, I have an Angry Birds notebook. This was I stole this from my kid. Shh, don't tell him. And then some 3D letters that I test stitched a while back. Not sure. Sometimes I put these on display uh, and sometimes I keep them in this bag. Under this tote bag is a beautiful wood cedar chest. Let me show you. Set this aside. Pull off the blanket. Obviously it needs to be refinished, but this is a family heirloom and I love this thing. We started um, fixing it up. We put new wheels on the bottom when we moved, um, but I love the way it smells like grandma's house every time I open it. <laughs> um, and inside, I have a bunch of other crafty stuff. 
some felt backing, some stickers for various science projects. This tote bag here, this red tote bag here is full of beading, some leftover fabric from a Halloween costume. And then in here I have extra fabric. This is 11 count white Ada cloth. This is more 14 count Ada cloth, off-white. This is actually more, more, this is darker than off-white. I'd say that's more of an ivory. A project I don't know if I'll ever stitch. Some sewing implements. So in these two bins, I have organized uh, magazines and books of cross-stitch patterns. Many, many, many of them. So that's it for the cedar chest. You may have seen these two drawer towers uh, in the background of many of my other videos. Uh, these I got at Ikea. I love Ikea. Let's see what's inside. This is my favorite drawer. This is the drawer that has the DMC color card. and the rest of my bobbinated floss. You guys, you do not need to spend $10 at the, the craft store getting these organizers. They go on sale pretty frequently, but you can also go to the department store and you can get one of these. This holds, oh, I think this is about oh, over 100 for sure maybe 150 um, bobbins of, de of um, embroidery floss, and they work great. And there's some extra room here. The bobbins won't fit in these pockets, but you can put um, thimbles and, I, I haven't, if you have a mini pair of scissors, that would fit there, and also um, maybe a needle case. And these are, like five bucks at the department store. In this drawer, I have various items. Some stitchable mesh. I don't know if I can make this brighter. There we go. Stitchable mesh, a mini project box. This one has magnets in it for future 3D projects that I want to do that might open and close some spare needles, a gritting pen, those golden scissors that came with the golden bundle that I opened a while back. Um, this also came with the golden bundle that I opened a while back and I'll put a link below to that video and a mini cross stitch project that I wanted to try out and maybe one day let you guys know how it went. Let's see, in this drawer I have embroidery hoops, Perforated paper and perforated plastic. Over here is where I keep the extra floss. I keep the floss in these well, just cheap little sandwich baggies. Um, I have them numbered, so this this is all the 500s and 600s. This is extra 3800s. I've got some satin floss in here. A neon pack that I want to try out, and then I've got the giant cone of black and my mom, thanks mom, got me the giant cone of white. I will, I, well, I won't run out for a while, maybe not never, but it'll be a while. That drawer. So in here I have these scissors that cut in many, many different shapes and designs. Some extra bamboo hoops. Um, I had put together little projects to teach my friends to cross stitch. That was fun. I should try that. Glue gun, glue sticks, some prototypes of my th one of my 3D letters. I think the other ones are in here. Just random stuff. Probably need to clean some of that out. This is um, background paper that I want to use for my photo shoots frames, 
that I got at the thrift store. Nice frame, super cheap. And then here, some props that I like to use in my photos when I take pictures of my patterns. I think they're cute. Check this guy out. This is the newest edition. Oh, I love it. So let's go over here and look at this other cabinet. This cabinet, I also got at Ikea. I love it. So inside here, I keep on display a bunch of the physical copies of the X-Stitch magazine, which is great. You guys should try it out. I'll put a link below. Not an affiliate. It's just really interesting, different cross-stitch stuff. Star Wars, of course. Some plushies that Oscar got for me out of the claw machine. Some of my favorite cross -stitch, modern cross-stitch books. The DMC Golden Collector's Edition that was also in the Golden Bundle video that I opened before. And a couple of storage bins. Okay, these are actually empty, but I like the color because it goes with the Notorious Needle colors and I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in there yet, so I'll have to give that some thought. And finally, I wanted to bring you back here so I could show you what's in my whip box. This is the small floral storage box, also from DMC, um, also included in that golden bundle that I unboxed um, with my best friend Rachel. And here, I have scissors, thimble, this is the color I'm working on right now. Here's my orts. Wow, this is only a month's worth for him. <laughs> I've been busy. Okay, maybe two months worth. Um, Here's another symbol. This one's actually a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I have these, I don't, I don't remember what these are called, these plastic ones, but these aren't for pushing the needle through, rather for gripping and pulling the needle out. This is my favorite needle minder. And then all the colors that I'm using. I've got three whips in here, and two of them use the same colors, so it makes it really easy. And then the third one, I'm, I'm finishing up with the last color. So I've got some extra thread. This is a pattern. Some extra thread for those other two patterns. Ada cloth uh, to start the third whip and then Ada cloth for the second one. And then the first one I'm working on now, so that's not in here. And then let me take you behind the camera a little bit. So over here we have, this is actually my desk. It's messy, I'm gonna leave it closed. Uh, but inside is my computer monitor. And this is also an Ikea purchase. Can you tell I love Ikea? You guys, they have the best organizational stuff. They use all the vertical space. And then here is the, <laughs> the this is my little recording station here. With my stool. I've got a couple of LED lights. There's the overhead camera. Let's see if you can see. See? The overhead camera that lets you see what I'm doing. And my microphone. So this is how I record my videos. So those dual monitors are in front of me when I'm recording my videos so I can make sure that you see exactly what you need to see to follow along. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this has inspired you to meet that New Year's resolution to get a little bit better organized. I know I definitely want to do this video again next year and uh, compare and see what's changed, what's gotten better, what's maybe gotten thrown to the wayside a little bit. And I hope to see you then. Stitch on.